Uh, so, you have to forgive me, my, my throat is a little raspy because um, I have um, an upper respiratory infection, a sinus infection, and an ear infection, which is going to lay the groundwork for the story that I'm going to tell you. Uh, it was a week ago today. I was in the urgent care. Yep, in the urgent care because I couldn't breathe and my throat was closed up and I was not feeling very well. So I went to the local urgent care and they did some testing. They tested me for strep and they, they gave me a prescription for a lidocaine rinse for my throat. So I'm sure the, um, the sound, sorry. I'm sure the sound is probably going to be a little jacked up, but I couldn't help doing this video from a better location than inside the truck, like I normally do. So the thing is, they gave me a lidocaine rinse and a nasal spray and all that stuff. They tested me for strep, but I had all the symptoms, and they didn't test me for COVID. I thought that was a little strange. I thought maybe it was just the incompetence of the people in the, in, in, at the place where I was. So I, that's, I just chalked it up to incompetence. Didn't think nothing of it. So I continued to get more and more sick. And I was in another place far, far away. And I was really in rough shape. It got, we continued to get worse, progressed, and I was quite a bit sicker, quite a bit more sick. More sicker is not a, <laughs> that's not how that works. So anyway, I was much more, I felt much more ill a few days in, and I went to an urgent care in a different place. I walked in, and they took all my information. And they put me in a little room, and I was in there playing on my phone, waiting for the doctor after the nurse took my information. And the doctor, with his mask on, went to walk in the room, knocked on the door, went to walk in the room, and my mask was down around my chin. And he panicked and backed out of the room so quickly. Oh, my God, your mask, your mask. And I put it on, and he would not come in the room until my mask was up, which all started with one thing. We all know what it is. So I'm not even going to say it. So I mentioned the fact that I had been in the urgent care prior to that and had been st tested for strep and other upper whatever. My throat hurt, so they tested me for strep, but nobody tested me for COVID. God damn it, I said it. All right, whatever. So anyway, they didn't test. I said that, you know, if you guys want to test me, let's get it done. Nope. So it begs the question. Something that shut the entire world down two years ago, three years ago now. Actually, I thought it was four years ago now. That's crazy, isn't it? So something that shut the entire world down four years ago, they're not even interested in ascertaining if that's the case. I'm not entirely sure what the hell is going on. Well, actually, I do know what's going on. But I was just kind of putting that out there for you guys because I'm not sure... If you guys get it, if everybody that's subscribed or are going to watch this is paying attention to what's actually happening, I mean, was it? I mean, I know people got sick. I know I was sick. I got I had COVID three times. I tested positive for it. I'm not entirely sure what that test was testing for. I don't really know the truth. Does anybody know the truth anymore? I have no idea what the hell's going on. What I do know is that if they were really worried about something that killed all them fucking people four years ago, don't you think you'd want to test for it? Maybe see? So, something screams bullshit to me. Because even when prompted, they never even fucking tried. So, I don't know. I'm just going to sit here and uh, drink this coffee. Arabica beans. Got the X on it because it had ice in it. I get two coffees, one with ice so I can drink it now and one without ice so it'll be cool enough to drink it later. All right, that's my video. That's the first one in a while. I just thought I'd throw that one out there because it was a little weird. It was an experience I had I thought I'd share with you guys. And that's it. I don't even think I swore that much. I think that's good, right? 
I'll probably review this video, and I don't really care. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. That's not like <laughs> it's not like my mortgage is getting paid with my YouTube money. 